are nearly all the men in Lagos truly insane? Let's find out. Nearly all the men in Lagos are mad by Damilare Kuku is a collection of 12 short stories on experiences in dating, love, and marriage in Lagos, Nigeria. It is a work of fiction, but might as well be reality because reality sometimes is much stranger than fiction. We see harrowing tales of betrayals, double lives, and hard truths as experienced and seen through the eyes of women who are in turn damaged and vindictive. At a point, the point of view switches to the men in the stories, but the message remains the same. Lagos men make stupidly selfish decisions regarding love and relationships. I read the book objectively. Despite featuring a title that I suspected to be slightly sexist, the stories exhibit none of the sexist prejudice that I thought it would have, despite most of the folk I know who've read and enjoyed it so far being women. The issues raised are real ones. While engaging the readers with comedy, Damilare Kuku approaches topics of marriage, abortion, homosexuality, and rape in a mature and sensitive manner. Some men did bizarre things, some men did not. Some women did bizarre things, some women did not. Not that the women were perfect, but the men were too toxic. More than half of the time, women were on the receiving end of bad decisions and selfish acts by men. There were men afraid of commitment, power thirsty ones, egotistic, and women in different chapters had to deal with objectification, over-sexualization, condemnation, and even rape. But these are not new issues, neither are they unique in today's world. They are just a reminder of how morally decayed we have allowed ourselves to be, a generation trapped in a cycle of hurt, uncontrolled lust, and disregard for others. I like how most women stood up for themselves though, they didn't let the men that hurt them get the best of them. This is definitely not my usual style of book, but the title drew me in. There was a good variety of stories which shows the writer's creativity, but I found most or all of them to verge on the side of sensationalism and vulgarity, which speaks to a perspective of what some of these Lagos relationships are like. I also thought it could have benefited from a further edit to bring out certain themes better and to add trigger warnings. However, it was an interesting read that made me reflect on the nature of romantic relationships in the society. My takeaway from the stories is that madness just like misery, loves company. If you like quick and easy reads and don't mind explicit sexual scenes, then definitely give this book a read.